Look at this on camera. This is a time lapse of clouds building over Portland today. And I'm guessing, Josh, you're the one who recorded this. <laughs> Guilty as charged, mm -hmm. right? Yep. <laughs> Josh is always on the outlook for, on the lookout. On the lookout, lookout. or the outlook. For, oh, yeah. yeah. He has a sunny outlook. He's on outlook. the email or the cameras looking for interesting <laughs> things. <laughs> yes, uh, we're keeping our eyes to the sky as things are expected to become very active within the next several days. But if you do happen to need to water those plants, the early morning hour is a good time to do so. Although if you're up in elevation, Maybe you don't have to do that at all as a few light rain showers continue to find their way down and even Mount Hood Meadows picking up on a few slushy snowflakes for this evening as the bright blue sunny skies are found anywhere from the shoreline to the I-5 corridor. We are expecting to hold steady to those mild temperatures over the next little while. Again, those bubbling thunderstorms starting to build over the high terrain of the Cascades. Maybe just one or two of those could roll their way out of the foothills and push their way into the I-5 corridor by this afternoon, but our temperatures managing to warm back up into the mid 70s for the valley 60s for the coast, and that's a temperature difference over the past 24 hours of nearly 10 degrees above where we were just this time yesterday, and those temperatures are only going to continue to grow as we move through the next several days as the calm, quite clear, sunny skies still remain across the region, but you'll notice those winds right now out of the southwest becoming a little bit more easterly as we press our way through the next several days, and that's that's only going to help speed up, dry out and warm up our temperatures as right now the thunderstorm activity continues not only over the Cascades, but also over the coast range, getting a few bolts of lightning within the past several hours. But again, that's primarily going to remain up in elevation, although we do have a shot later this evening to maybe see one or two of them roll their way into the Willamette Valley as we fall back into the 60s this evening, 50s and 40s by the time we wake up tomorrow morning with bright blue sunny skies from sunrise to sunset. Again, maybe a bubble up thunderstorm or two over the mountains, but not as widespread or as electric as what we're seeing today. And even as we press our way into Friday, those sunny skies continue and you'll notice those easterly winds really starting to kick up. It travels all of that heat on the east side of the mountains through the gorge and eventually into our area. And that's why our mercury is expected to climb close to 90 degrees by the time we get to Friday. But upper 80s is still on the docket for us with additional rain accumulation over the next 48 hours, primarily over the mountains, not necessarily impacting us and our rain gauges for the valley or the shoreline. But over the next six to 10 days, we do expect to see a big warming trend and our numbers are really starting to spell that out with about 30 degrees above what's normal for this time of year. All courtesy this very strong ridge building over not only western uh, parts of Washington and Oregon, but for the entirety of the country, really starting to see the surplus in the temperature rise as the heat bubble starts to poke its head up once again for parts of the I-5 corridor. And that's where we will likely be breaking some records as we roll our way into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The gray bars, those are our forecasted daytime high temperatures. The orange bars, that's where our current records hold steady. Look, 1973 on Friday and Saturday, that's nearly 50 degrees since we last saw temperatures that hot. And with all of this excessive heat, we want to make sure that we're staying hydrated, taking breaks indoors, and making sure that we're checking up on our local neighbors and those who might be less fortunate to have a C. We get back up into the mid 80s for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Stay weather aware just means that our temperatures are going to be much hotter than what we are typically used to seeing for the month of May. You would think that we were in August or early September with daytime highs on Mother's Day mm -hmm. in the mid 90s for us. But a dry stretch of weather also taking hold. Yeah, definitely a shock for the system. Oof. That it is. We got a little bit of a taste. You'll remember mm -hmm. maybe about a yep. week, week sure. and a half ago, right. but this it is wasn't so this long. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hey, stranded in the